It is hard to believe, but after months of staying home, students will be heading back to school. Many of them, including Roosevelt Elementary in Mason City, starting next week. Today, ABC6 News reporter Brett Backley was there to see how the school is preparing to return safely. I'll have to limit it to about two students, probably on opposite ends. We've eliminated the tables so that we can keep the kids six feet apart. I can't say, you know, everyone go get your stuff at once. It'll be a lot more staggering and taking time to get materials. Some have been teaching for decades, others just years. But educators at Roosevelt Elementary can agree that the first day back this year will be like hitting the reset button. This year, it's like everybody's first year in education. It's just so new and so different that we're all getting used to it and getting adjusted. This is definitely different. I think it's like um, a first year teaching experience for every teacher, no matter if you've been teaching two years, 30 years, it's going to be challenging, but we'll get through it. But before Roosevelt students can return to the classroom next week, teachers are turning their classrooms upside down to keep them safe. If you measure it out, probably two of the students, you know, it could be spread out among here. So it's kind of that question of whether or not I'll be doing a lot more teaching to the students as they're at their desks rather than sitting on the carpet. Not having kids here all day, every day, cutting the classes in half, mandating masks. Everything we're doing is designed to minimize spread and to mitigate risk. I'm a little nervous just to try to keep masks on um, five and six year olds. They're never going to be able to be kept six feet apart all the time. I think we're us teachers are just going to do the best that we can. The school will start in a hybrid model, but if factors change, could make a request to switch to distance learning. It would be a big transition. Um, we're trying to be kind of prepared for that in the sense of have everyone connected um, electronically already, which is part of the hybrid model. Um, but as far as going completely remote learning um, would be a really big change as far as, you know, any lessons delivered would have to be recorded rather than you know, done in person. For now, teachers are grateful they can start the year in the classroom. I'm excited to see those familiar faces and yeah, it just feels like last year wasn't quite complete. And hope this school year they will have the full opportunity to influence the minds and hearts of their students. In Mason City, Brett Backley, ABC6 News.